Okay. So, as I'm, as I'm walking, as I'm walking home, right, uh, these, ideas, these ideas are coming to my mind to say longevity is key to consistency. Like, a longevity mindset is the key to consistency. Like, think of it this way. Every time you do the right thing, even if it's a small thing, as long as it's the right thing, over and over and over and over again, it's adding up to who you will want to become or it's adding up to who you want to be in the future. Uh, every day when I get into the charts, my desire is to follow my principles. Okay, I do not follow my principles sometimes. Like yesterday, I did not follow my principles and I missed them and things didn't go my way. What happens? When I come back to the charts, I go back to uh, default. I go back to wanting to follow my principles. And, and what's in my head is that the longer you continuously or the longer you, you force yourself to do the right thing each and every day, one day it's going to click. And when it does click, it's going to yield results like never before. So whatever you are doing right now in order to become successful, whatever you are doing right now in order to achieve your goals, whatever you are doing right now in order to get to where you want to be, don't stop doing it. You might not be able to do it all the time. You might not be able to follow your trading plan every single day you get into the charts but remember you are growing you cannot expect a child to just be born and start running right so you following or you trying to follow your plan is like a baby trying to start walking right they might fall several times but the more they continue the more they rehearse the more they they, they get back up after falling is the stronger they are becoming at standing and starting to walk and don't forget that your trading plan is your pathway to great to success as a trader your trading plan is your pathway to achieving your goals because you know that in this trading plan this is what i'm risking and this is what i'm aiming for and you know it's realistic remember when you're setting goals you want them to be smart you want to be you want them to be simple, you want them to be uh, measurable, you want them to be achievable, uh, you want them to be realistic, you want them to be time bound, right? So you know this is how much I'm, ris I'm risking in a trade. And you might not be able to keep up with that each and every day you get into the charts. Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. You might mess up. Sometimes you might blow an account, you know, and you, you, you pick yourself up. You pick yourself up. You get back to the same routine again. Never move to the next routine without mastering the one you are in. The only reason why I'm going to shift my, my, my risk to a, a bigger one, the only reason why I'm going to change my, my lot sizes to a bigger one is if these ones that I am with that I am with have been consistent with me if I can consistently do the same thing for for six months and it's profitable or maybe for three months three to six months three to six months and it's profitable and I'm seeing the results in it then I have every reason to say okay let's up the gear as long as you have not yet been able to fully follow your trading principles your trading rules your trading uh, whatever agenda your trading plan as long as you have not been able to follow your trading plan consistently for like three to six months don't change it don't change it right don't change it stick to it fall get back up continue to go back there yesterday i didn't follow it does it mean i'm not gonna follow it tomorrow no tomorrow i'm forcing myself to follow it tomorrow i'm forcing myself to follow it does it mean i, I if i don't okay if it happens that tomorrow uh, i follow it and then i end up not following it what do i do ne next week i get back to following it so no matter what happens you might have a discipline to say i'm gonna be exercising each and every day right you might have a discipline to say every day i'm gonna be exercising what happens when you when you skip a day what happens when you when one day you don't does that when one day you don't exercise what happened when one day you don't exercise does that mean you have to stop completely and say i fail no get back and exercise again uh there's this book that uh i'm being reminded of right now i once read this book i actually have the book it's called the richest man in babylon uh there's a scenario that that goes like this if a man decide that every single morning when he's passing a certain bridge he's going to pick up a stone and throw it Right, it's going to pick up a stone. Oh, this is nice light. 
if a man agrees with himself that every single day he passes a certain bridge is going to pick up a stone and throw it into the water and one day he forgets and he is over the bridge he says instead of him continuing to go where, wherever he was going he has to turn back take a stone put it you get it take a stone throw it into the river as as he had said he's gonna do it should you should never say uh in your mind you should never say in your mind that okay today i didn't so tomorrow i'm gonna do double don't do that don't do that uh for example if i i do not follow my principle today i should not say yeah tomorrow i'm gonna follow it double no when i get back to the church i have to go back to following my discipline don't get to a point where you're like ah, today today is a reckless day i'm not i'm not gonna do the right thing today don't get to that point every time you do that you're messing up with your mind you're messing up with your psyche if you mess up today tomorrow get back to your rules never have a day where you are you are you where you you lose restraint never have a day where you lose restraint on purpose to say today i'm just gonna risk whatever happens happens no that's terrible that's a bad idea you have to always get back to your default you have to always get back to your rules get back to your principles get back to the things that you said you are gonna do if you you know that every morning you want to pray right i will if you know that every morning you want to talk to God, what if it happens that you woke up in the morning and now you realize it's 11, uh, it's 11 uh, a.m. and you have, and, and now you realize it's 11 a.m. and they have not prayed? What happens? That moment, pick up your Bible, start praying. The moment you realize, oh, I this is not yet done, get to it, do it, so that you continue building uh, some some neuro what what in your brains some neuro what there's this scientific words that they put so that you create that routine now every time i wake up and i don't get to do and i don't get to pray the moment i realize i've not done that i always stop whatever i'm doing it's some i'm not saying i'm perfect with it i'm not yet perfect uh, i'm trying it let me get let me get through this so so as I say, uh, always, always, when you know you fumbled, pick yourself back up, put yourself back to the routine. Yesterday, uh, I traded a session that I do not want to trade, that I don't like to trade. That was fumbling. What, does, what, what, what do I do today? Today, I don't have to repeat it. Now it's like 7. It's the same time I was trading yesterday, but I'm not going to be trading it because I don't like trading this session. Why? Why, why am I doing that? Why am I, not, why am I not trading? Because I know it was a mistake for me to do that. I have to pick, take myself back to the routine, right? I know. I, you know what to do. Now imagine, now, imagine if you are going to do that each and every single day for the next two years. Guess what you will become? I've only been doing this for a month. Uh, it's only been 30 something days since I started going live with you guys on YouTube. It's only been a month. Now, look, imagine where I'm going to be if I continuously put myself back to discipline in the next three years. Imagine that. Imagine where I'm going to be financially. Imagine where I'm going to be mentally. Imagine where I'm going to be with self-confidence. Imagine where I'm going to be with impact if I continuously push myself back to my routine, push myself back to my trading plan, push myself back, oh, remind myself, oh, no, 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 that you are not supposed to do that. You have done it. It's fine. Like, we are over that, but we we'll go back to the routine when I, when I mess up a goal okay you did that that was not supposed to be done you note it you write it down you know for me I don't write down I talk like I'm doing right now right you put yourself back to the routine guess what you are gonna be imagine what you are gonna be in the next five years imagine where I'm gonna be in the next five years I'm only 26 years old imagine where I'm gonna be by the age 31 if I continuously push myself to my routine if i continuously remind myself i need to pray if i continuously tell myself you gotta read today you have to read you have to improve yourself you have to listen to that podcast you have to hear this idea you have to grow you have if i continuously commit myself to a process of maturity a process of growth guess what god is going to realize his child is responsible and his child can do mighty things
they're not going to trust me with with more or with more responsibilities is going to trust me with financial responsibilities is going to trust me with family responsibilities is going to trust me with uh, community responsibilities is going to trust me with national responsibilities and before i know it he's going to trust me with international responsibilities i'm going to be having people calling me from all over the world why because i have put myself consistently into a certain discipline that brings certain results whatever you are doing right now whatever you are thinking right now whatever you are saying right now is a seed to who you will be i am where i am because of the choices that i made a few years ago uh, uh, some years ago or some of them i am where i am because of the choices that my parents made at some point you are responsible for your life bro you are responsible for everything that you do you are responsible for it bring yourself back to your senses every time you mo you go off of your senses bring yourself back to that mind that you know is going to make you a success i remember uh the, during the beginning of this year uh around january i was with Bunte and Dovu and we discussed and we spoke about how this year is gonna be we planned it and we knew we set realistic goals guess what i have not achieved any of those goals but i have become the person that can achieve them and i've become a person that can achieve them and it's not really about achieving them it's about becoming the person who can achieve them because the moment you achieve them and you lose them you can achieve them again because you are now that person who can do that you know you are not that person who can do that and that's that's what i wanted to share with you guys stick to the rules stick to your goals you will fall you will not be able to achieve them immediately and instantly you will not be able to do it uh continuously because you're just a baby you're still growing into that person who can achieve those things you're still growing into that person who can do those things allow yourself to experience the journey allow yourself to experience the process you will fall you that's why i keep posting everything i posted that on my social media to say ah we are growing we'll become better just know no matter how much you mess up if you pick yourself up and go back to the routine you will succeed i will make it no matter what happens i will always get myself back up i will always put myself back to the system i will always put, uh, remind myself of the trading plan i will always go back to the rules i know if i'm risking 300 per day and i'm targeting 750 to a thousand rand a day that's a lot of money at the end of the month you know and even if I lose uh, uh, 15 trades or even if I lose 20 trades, the 10 trades that I'm making money in can cover all the losses. You know, that's just it. That's just it. And then you commit yourself to that. You commit yourself to that every single day. You remind yourself of that. You keep going back. You mess up. You get back to the routine. You don't, you wake up one day and you did not pray in the evening go back to the prayer sometimes you mess up you fall into errors and silly stupid mistakes you remind yourself you pick yourself back up you run again you run again jesus said whoever takes a plow and wants to start plowing and he looks back is not worthy of the assignment what does that mean once you set up your, your life you set your goal away once you set your goals don't look back once you have a trading plan don't look back don't look back don't quit don't stop keep going keep going keep pushing keep going and before you know it you're going to be successful if you have watched this far make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you like make sure you share make sure you comment and see you guys in the next video